Uh, farmers, uh, thank you so much for uh, always watching the work we do and always following us uh, on YouTube. We really appreciate the work you're doing and we're really very excited to always uh, interact with you and uh, see those comments. Please uh, watch the video and comment with wherever you are, the country where you are watching from. I appreciate those people that are watching from all over the world uh, and those that are really ordering for seeds from us and those that are really following uh, the work that we are uh, doing and putting in practice. As we promise to have this journey together, move the journey together, take you through uh, different agronomic practices for silage, for maize. Uh, for pastures and also how to take care of the animals and everything to make sure that we run a successful uh, farm So today I want to show you something interesting. Many people have been asking me about uh, How do you Know that the maize is ready for silage when you're going to cut it for silage. Of course, I've been recording videos. I took you through um I think a video when the maize was young. I think another video on agronomic practices and what you need to really do. And of course, I've been encouraging farmers that if we are to plant maize, we have to make sure that we plant it, we give it the necessary nutrients for it to give us uh, the production. Here we are expecting around 20 tons of um, silage per acre. We have 15 acres. And many people have been, you know, getting five, six, seven tons. Why? Because when you look at here, you can't even get where to stand and how to move. We have the, the population, the plant population is very high and the maize is looking as nice as, as, um, as this. So meaning that production is a must and we're going to have high, high, high production per unit area. And of course that's what we are looking at because land is reducing each and every time and we need to keep rearing animals. We are a number of animals, uh, large numbers of animals in a smaller piece of land. The only way we are going to do this is uh, through uh, planting feeds for the animals. And silage is proving to be one of the, uh, the ingredients that farmers like so much. So we are going to check this maze together. You can bring the camera closer. I'll make sure someone is able to see what I'm doing. So we're going to check to see if our maize is ready for uh, silage production. You see? You see the cob? The cob has matured and when you place... Are you seeing that, that milk liquid that is coming out? So all this uh, is going to uh, be chopped in our silage. A silage, we're going to come and chop everything from the ground and then we put in a chopper and then we're going to compact everything. All of these will be chopped by the machine and mixed within uh, the silage. The protein content is going to be very good. The carbohydrates is going to be very good and we are going to be having it for sale as well. We're going to feed our animals and we're going to have some for sale to our peri urban farmers who do not have a lot of land where to plant. So there is a very good business in silage production. Uh, Peri-urban farming, people have animals, especially dairy, and they do not have the feed. They do not have the silage. So here we are saying we can produce for the farmers. And if you're going to do it for commercial or to feed your animals, we must make sure that we have the large, 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 large numbers of silage per unit area. So as we are able to make money, as I'm saying, as farmers, as entrepreneurs, we must join agriculture and agribusiness that is making money for us. So here we are going to start producing uh, maize very soon, so by end of this week or starting early next week. And we're going to be having tons and tons, we more than 100 tons, more than 150 tons will be available for sale uh, to different farmers who will be interested and some then the rest will be given to our feedlot and a, a diary section that we have put up. Why do I record these videos? So many people have been having uh, uh, questions about when do I cut my maize. So I think you have seen. 
and you can see how the cobs are looking like. They're actually very big and good and nice looking. So I think we need to take such kind of uh, trend. And the whole garden is like that. So you can see here, you can actually look at those ones. The cobs, you can look at those, those ones. So everything is looking nice. And uh, that's what I'm saying. We are chopping all this for the animals. <laughs> I recently brought someone here and was like, you mean all oh, this is being chopped and you can't allow the, uh, the, uh, the, the people to take some? No, we are all going to chop this for our animals. And of course, we still have the rains. So since our maize happen to grow very fast, we are going to cut. And this is some my wetland. And then after cutting, we are going to plant again. By the time the rains are getting off, we already have another crop that is growing. We are using the crop, uh, the same area, but produce uh, many times and produce high uh, volumes. I want to thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and invite friends to subscribe as well so that we keep sharing these educative videos together. And don't forget to hit the button uh, for notification so that when we post a video, you're able to see we are going to move this journey together we're going to teach each other and we're going to move do not forget these videos are sponsored by robran mall it is found at www.robranmall.com or you can go on google play store and download our app uh, robran mall app and uh, we are doing um, delivery services in Kampala. anything you need is found on the app you click and order and the team will deliver at your doorstep. So please don't forget to support uh, Rubran Mall, those that are in Kampala. And please keep watching our videos, invite friends to watch and subscribe to this channel as we transform the livestock sector in Africa, in Uganda and the world as well. Thank you. Thank you so much.